Quick tip, learn the diatonic chords of the major scale. First, the major scale is constructed of whole and half steps. You have a whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, and half step. So for example, if we take a D major scale, here's D, you walk up the whole step, a whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's the D major scale. The D major scale and every major scale have seven notes. If you harmonize the major scale, you then of course will have seven different chords, okay? Now let's stick to D major scale here. So if you harmonize the D major scale, you will have the following chords. You will have D major seven, E minor seven, F sharp minor seven, G major seven, A seven, B minor seven, C sharp minor seven flat five, and then back to D major seven. Now, a really important thing to realize, it doesn't matter which major scale you're playing. If you're playing the D major scale or the C major scale or the C sharp major scale or F major scale, you will always have these kind of chords. You will always have a major seven chord, then a minor seven chord, then a minor seven chord, then a major seven chord, then a dominant seven chord, then a minor seven chord, then a minor seven flat five chord. So that's why it's so, so important to know this by heart, okay? So you should be able to, you know, uh, someone should be wake you up when you're sleeping and you should be able to just say, Major seven, minor seven, minor seven, major seven, dominant seven, minor seven, and then minor seven, five, five. The next step is of course then to learn these different chords over the entire fretboard in a lot of different ways. You know, you have root position, you have first inversion, second inversion, and third inversion. I'll show you a few uh, ones in root position in uh, in the key of D. So, for example, here we have D major seven, and then E minor seven, F sharp minor seven, G major seven, A seven, uh, B minor seven, C sharp minor seven flat five, and then we're back to D major seven. Okay, so that's the chords of the D major scale on the A string, D string, G string, and B string. Then of course we can play these chords on the D string, the G string, B string, and E string. So here's D major seven, here's E minor seven, F sharp minor seven, G major seven, A seven, B minor seven, and then C sharp minus seven five five back to D major seven. So that's drop two voicings by the way on the A, D, G, and B string, and on the D, G, B, and E string. Then of course you can learn these drop two voicings on the E, A, D, and G string. I'm not going to show you those for you now. Instead, I'm going to show you drop three voicings, okay, with the root on the E string. So you will have the root on the E string, then the next, the rest of the notes will be on the D, G, and B strings. So here's a D major seven. Now let's go backwards to uh, C sharp minor seven flat five, B minor seven, A seven, G major seven. F sharp minor seven, E minor seven, and then back to D major seven. So that's drop three voicings. Then of course, you know, you can learn drop three voicings with the root on the A string, and then you have inversions like I talked about. I will of course talk more about the, the inversions, you know, and drop three voicings and drop two voicings in future lessons. Anyway, so now we can play the diatonic chords of the major scale horizontally. We can play them on the A, D, G, and B string like this. Or here.
So that's awesome. Now, the next step I recommend is to learn these chords in a few positions. For example, let's play D major 7 here. Then we can go up to E minor 7 here. Instead of playing the F sharp minor 7 here, let's play it here. So we have D major 7, E minor 7, F sharp minor 7, then G major 7, uh, A7 here maybe. Then let's play B minor 7 here. And then to C sharp minor, C sharp minor 7 flat 5. And then D major 7. Then maybe here, D major 7, E minor 7, F sharp minor 7, G major 7, A7. Could keep going up now, but let's play B minor 7 here. And then C sharp minor 7 flat 5 here. D major 7 again. Let's do that one more time. So. This is just for practice, you know, so you learn where you have these different chords. You should play them, you should say their names also, D major 7, E minor 7, F sharp minor 7, and so on. But then you should also, for example, say the degrees, you know, 1 chord, 2 chord, 3 chord, 4 chord, 5 chord, and so on. Then you can just uh, play some random chord progressions. Let's play Let's play a 1, 6, 2, 5 progression now in this position here. So, okay, 1, 6, 2, 5. 1, D major 7, 6, B minor 7, 2, E minor 7, 5, A major 7. Let's play it one more time. the same progression in this position here. A one, six, two, five. So we have here we have the one, here we have the two, here we have the five, versus six. We could play the six here if you want to. We could play six here also. Let's let's try this one. So we'll have D major seven, one chord, to the six chord. Let's play the two chord up here, and then the five chord here, back to D major 7. Before I end this lesson, one more thing. The next step is to learn to play the major scale then also over each chord. So for example, you learn to play the, the D major 7 chord in this position here, maybe. And then you play the D major scale. Next chord, E minor 7 here. And now you play the D major scale. But this is also a mode, so you can also say this is the E Dorian scale. Anyway, so here's the D major scale over an E minor 7 chord. E Dorian. Next chord of the D major scale is F sharp minor 7 up here. Okay, now let's play the scale, the D major scale or you could call it F-sharp uh, Phrygian mode. Next chord, G major 7. Play the D major scale, or you could call it G Lydian scale. One way to play this game, you know, you can 
you can play free note per strings patterns like I did there. But there's other possible ways. You can play it like this. Okay, let's keep going. A7. Play the D major scale now in this position over the A7 chord. This is also the A mixolydian mode. So here's A mixolydian. Then we have B minor 7. If you play the D major scale over a B minor 7 chord, you will have the B natural minor scale or the B aeolian mode. So let's play that scale now. And the last one here, C sharp minor 7. Flat five. Play the D major scale over C sharp minor seven flat five. That's the C sharp Locrian mode. And then to back to D major seven. That's it. Quick tip. Good luck.